Oja. Ndiye boss. Hapo. Let the gambu javai. Ah let the gambu tuwan. Gambu ziko ama ama akura. Ndio sana. Let the gambu. Tusaidie baba. Tusaidie baba. Hizi ni hizi. Hapo sawa kabisa. Asante sana. Asante sana. Ina driver yake kwa api? Ama hata ingia kwa nguku. Hata Nimeona hapo mnafanya kazi nzuri sana. Karibuni sana, karibuni sana, karibuni sana. Hii shamba yetu mpya ya Migori County. Hii shamba iko located at Mabera. Tunaenda kujuana. So, in just our introduction part tunafanya hapa. So, mimi naitwa Dr. Eugene. I'm the CEO of Eugene Poultry Farm Limited. Running this company both in three regions now. We are located in uh, Nyanza region, we are in Migori now. And then in Nairobi we are in uh, Ruai. And then also we are putting up another facility, very one, very big one in Mombasa there. So now I'm sure now farmers, we are serving farmers countrywide. Thank you for your great support. This farm mainly, I will tell you its work. Leo tuko na watu tumetembea na wapa. Niko na mdosu wangu wa, wa Nyanza region. I'm sure you can introduce yourself. Okay. Welcome. Thank you so much, uh, CEO. Uh, my name is Agnes Bange. I'm the regional admin of... Uh, Eugene B Poultry Farm. For the for the Nyanza region. For the Nyanza region. Amani wa Migori County. Ah, ni Nyanza region, the entire Nyanza. Entire Nyanza region. Yes. So she's the admin, she's the one who is making sure that uh, all the chicks which are being maybe supplied in the entire Nyanza region, all the meat supply in Nyanza region, all the egg production in Nyanza region, I'm sure you are well conversant with it. Eh? Yes, sir. So do you welcome farmers to our new farm? Ama yeah. Yeah, I'm welcoming all farmers in the entire Nyanza uh, to our our new farm. farm. We are located here. This is our headquarters and uh, we have many chicks. And I know that anybody who will be in need of, it, of chicks, it will be it's available for all of you. Yeah. You are all welcome. I'm sure we are, I'm going to diversify on that. Let's know these people. Chacha. Ni personnel wa manager wangu boss wangu na mahakisha kwa safe wakati wote nataka kusafiri na bali popote. So yeye yeah, ni personal driver anahakisha tumetembea vizuri kama sasa hivi tumetoka Nairobi sasa hivi tuko hapa so hiyo ni safari njema sio? Ya yeah, tunashukuru sana kwa kazi nzuri ambayo mnafanya. Alafu sasa tuko na supervisor hapa Mr. Supervisor si ujintroduce bwana kwa kujua bwana. Eh kwa majina mimi ni Julius Nyamani. Mimi ndio nimesimamia hapa kwa hii kampuni ya Eugene Poultry Farm. Eh, kwa sheria yetu hapa unavaa gambu tu unaingia kwa farm eh, ndio sasa kwa ajili ya kulinda usalama wa afya ya mifugo ya kuku hapo ni sawa sawa huyo ni huyo tunashukuru sana ni mwenzetu hapa bana karibu sana mgeni naweza vita tu ah uko salama eh, sasa huyu ndiye ni charge yetu hapa tunaendelea na ujenzi naweza nikawa take through kuja unaweza you can join us cosmos So hapa sasa hapa tukiangalia hapa tunatengeneza kitu kinaitwa wanahitaji hapa kwota zama nini ama servant quarters servant quarters ni sehemu yenye wafanyakazi wanaishi so soja ata, atakuwa hapa so ukipita hapa soja anakukagua alafu anakupatia viatu unavaa alafu na kanyaga maji yetu ambayo tunaenda kuweka hapo hii farm bado tunaitengeneza wa wakulima wetu wa Nyanza region hii farm bado tuko under development we are developing a very serious facility here So now by the end of the day what we are targeting here we are focusing that this one will be a soldier's house. Alafu in bedroom ya moja ya mwingine alafu uko pia. Alafu uko pia wale wageni wenye wanatembea hapa kuja kulala. Tutakuwa na accommodation ya mtu mmoja hapa ama watu wawili kama ni couples. So now let's go now. So now in our focus supervisor kuja bwana. In our focus ya mnaweza funga gate bwana mtu asinge. Funga 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 hiyo gate. Sawa sawa. Hapo ni sasa tunaendelea hapa. Supervisor ulifanya kazi nzuri sana. Mm. Hii gate ni mtu mgani alitengeneza hii? Ni kampuni gani? Lazima ukumbe kula mayai, sio? Lazima ukule sasa. Hapo sasa. Sio mwana kazi hiyo. Wakulima wetu wa Migori County. Nataka nataka niwaelezee jambo moja kuhusu ufugaji wa kuku. Ufugaji wa kuku ni ile ambayo unapata ya kuwa mtu anaanza kufuga kuku kama ana maona anataka kufanya nini. Kama nilianza na 100 moja. 
mchezo mfungaji Agnes ulikuwa unajua kweli eh nilijua pia mimi na kukumia moja eh. lakini sasa hii tukienda hapo kwa nyumba za kuku utapata thousands of birds yeah. hapo ndani hii farm ndio imeanza sasa hii hii farm ni very new i'm sure it's a new farm you are developing yeah. for the regional for the region of Nyanza mm. to serve the people of Nyanza region with with all brooded chicks i'm sure this plot is secured here it's very big it's around 21 hectares so i'm sure in 21 hectares i'm sure you'll be able to put all the facility for the company standard i've seen you have begun with around 1 hectare your first one hectare yeah so i'm sure i'm sure we are you are doing very well under your supervision also we are so grateful yeah. i'm sure now our next paddock we should be doing it there i'm sure in the next paddock there now we are going to put now our parent stock which our parent stock should be arriving maybe in the end of march or the beginning of april because by the end of, of the day eugene poultry farm limited we are committed to providing you with the quality improved kenya chicks specifically the pure krela breed because our superior breed of krela chicken it's doing very very well by the way, if I speak about Croyla, let me train farmers today. If I speak about Croyla, what do I mean? Let's hope this way. I can just tell them as you walk. When I speak about Croyla, Croyla is just a multipurpose bird. Whereby, if it's a multipurpose bird, you know that someone can be well dependent. It can depend on, uh, you can use it for eggs purposes. And also you can use it maybe for meat purposes. Now, let's focus on farmers who are, who are producing Croylas for meat purposes. At what time do our Croyla chicken may be mature? Our Croyla chicken matures at exactly from 10 weeks. If you do exclusive feeding, you know, Manisha, yani, you feed your birds day and night, and then you make sure that you are doing proper feeding. If you feed our pure Croyla well, in 10 weeks, you can be able to attain 1.5 kgs. But now if you feed the normal feeding, let's say you feed with chick mash for something like two months, and then you switch to growers, and then to, to until when you see the first egg, then now your Cruella chicken will take a maximum of around uh, four months to mature. Are well, you aware about that? But you're an admin, you should be understanding yes, this. Yes, thing, I so. understand. Yeah. So now for those have for those ready now to harvest meat, you can harvest your meat from three months and a half up to four months. Because now if you go excess of four months and above, then you'll be running in a very big loss. Because at that point, one bird it's consuming around one thirty grams to one forty grams. So. Provide the case that uh, you are having maybe a thousand birds. A thousand birds na kukumoji na kula 130 grams. 130 grams times a thousand, how much is that? That is 130,000 grams. Divided by a thousand, you know 130 grams. Divided by 50 per day, you are using around something like uh, two and a half bags per day. So it's very expensive feeding chicken. But now, yeah, since now it's expensive feeding this chicken, if you are, if you are dependent on eggs production, you'll start seeing your eggs from the fourth month and a half. Uh, Four months and a half, unaza kuwana mayayi moja moja kwa nyumba ya kuku. And then now the eggs zina, zina, zinaendelea kuwa nyingi kwa sababu ya venye unalisha kuku zako. And the farmers do mess. Wakionaga mayayi moja, wanakimbilia kwa na kupatia kuku layers mash. Kuna wengine wanapatia layers mash, kabla hata wajaona iyo mayayi ya kwanza. That one is a mistake. Kuku zikule chakule ya growers. Baka zikuwa mbuta wana mayayi ya kwanza. Ukiwana mayayi ya kwanza, usi switch off kwa kwa layers mash safari moja. Kwa sababu hapo utapatia kuku stress. Na kwa sababu pia kukwa ijayi ona ona pia mayayi. Ikiwana hiyo mayayi itashituka. Umeni mm. mm. So ikishituka ni pressure. Itataroka kwa kwa different parts of the house. So unaipatia anti-stress agent. Hapo ina nana na mayayi. Unaza peana alamayasin mayayi formula. Poultry seed, mayai formula. How about by the end of the day, sasa, kuku sasa itazoya sasa. I'm sure you are learning. So now for the gorilla chicken, umelo, kama ni meat for three to four months. Kama ni mayai, four months and a half and above. Na hapo kwa mayai, guys, ninyinyi itatagemea. Ukicheza na kuku kwa growing stage yake, by the end of the day, you'll fail. Inafa unalisha kuku vizuri, unafata rejimu ambao tumekupatia, because tumetangeneza so many books za poultry farming. And I'm sure by the end of the day, you'll get it. The number yanye iko kwa hiyo clip, just click on that number. I'll, I'll send you the e-books which we have wrote on poultry production. Now this one, it's our first poultry house we have done here. This first poultry house of us here, I'm sure it's a very big house. We are going inside there, guys. So, msikuwa na pressure mingi sana. Kwa sababu leo ndo tumetembea kwa ishamba. Hapa andani tunayanda, 
Nenda hapa ndani, hapa ndani tuko na around uh, size around 3000 to 4000 bucks. Both on the down floor and the upper floor. Tuko na as per my record when I was checking when I was away, I was saying that tuko na ukia 5 weeks na ukia 4 weeks. I'm sure manager atatueleze hiyo. So by the end of the day so tutaenda huko tuangalie hapo juve nye imekuwa arranged. So now this one here again is another house we are developing here. Ini nyumba ingine imepimwa. I'm sure it will be it will be a deal done after around two months from now because these these double structures na kula material mingi sana like here pa like ina fikiria vanyi itajengo hapa najua agres nini ni mambo na budget muna sukuma tu so siyo muna siyo ndi anajua penye pesi na patikana so by the end of the day this house will be good but now farmers when I'll be when I'll begin this house I want to begin with you from the first step. Ita ito ajanga na Eugene Poultry. The double structure. So mtokwaza mnajua Eugene Poultry walianza one, two, three steps. So guys, ya sasa mnaza angalia, hapa tuna prevent. Because uko ni kwa servant quarters, na servant quarters waneza kuwa uko, uko, uko ni meka nyumba ya, hapo kwa servant quarters, hapo ni meka hapo nyumba ya isolation. Wanda kukuwa gonjo watakaa na servants uko. So by the end of the day, now this one now, it's a serious isolation. Abayo ita kwa hapa, abayo inapita hapa. Kwa wazi, aja kupika pita papa. Minuano unafanya kazi mzuri, siyo? Kazi mzuri, siyo? Nambora ujamaa gambu tse. Hapa kiti na kumba. Kwa za? Sasa, so hiyo ni Mr. Boaz, anafanya hapo kazi. So now, so now, hapa tunapanda nyasi. Kwa nini tunapanda nyasi kando ya nyumba ya kuku? Aja ni wafundeshe. Wakati, wakati ambayo ni, wakati ambayo let's say wakati ambayo ni wajua kama isa hii. Najua kuna vumbi mingi sana. Na kama kuna vumbi mingi hapa na kuna watu wanapita pita hapa, inamanisha kuna vumbi hapa. Pia hata upepo peke yake, inatosha? Kupeperusha hapa hivi, vumbi toke mingi sana. So vumbi kitokea nyingi, ingia kwa poultry house. No na kuku bado zinazapata ugonja kama homa. Ambayo, si mzuri ambayo ungeizuia. Mene rao? Hii nyumba, mbona hii nyumba hatu kuijenga hivi, tumeijenga chini hivi. Mbona hizi mwanyumba tunazijenga, zinaangali. Can you show them that house? Mbona imeangalia chini hivi straight? Kwa nini jangalia? Kwa nini jangalia upani ngini? Kwa nini jangalia upani ngini? You can see the house. The house is there. The house is very big. Kwa nda huko nyuma, imeenda kwa nda huko nyuma mbali sana. So the house is very big. Why do we do that one? The same same thing hata hapo pia. Hii pia ni hivyo. Kwa nini tuna tunatengeneza hivyo? Tunatengeneza hivyo kwa sababu moja. Kwa sababu tunaona against the wind. Against the wind. Sasa inamaanisha hivi, ukikuwa sasa against the wind, inamaanisha sasa what does it mean? Nyumba inafaa kuwa kwa against the wind. Kwa sababu upepo kama inakuja, kama iko kwa wind kama hata ni nyumba nyepesi, inazaenda na upepo. Hiyo ni reason ya kwanza. Ikuwa tana direct to the wind. Wind inapokuja, inapika hiyo nyumba. Inapika pop. Ikuwa na uonjwa. Inaingia? Inaingia to the cheeks. Hapo ndani. So, again as the wind, inasaidia kukontrol in disease infection control. Have you gotten me right? So, again now, in this house, the man utapata hapa juu, tumefunga ya kwa rapa. Tumefunga ya kwa rapa. Hakuna hewi inaingia hapo ndani juu, hapo manini. Si upepu inatembea juu. Ikipiga hapo, inapiga mabatu. Inarudi. So kama ilikuwa ugonjo, inapika mabati hapo na kurudi. Kwa sabu kwa nani kuna mafumigans. Are you getting me right? Sawa, let's go. Cosmas, you can join us. So now guys, we are doing a very serious work here. We are doing a very, very serious work here. Ipi kipikia muja ito isha hapa. Hindi ilikuwa yangu wana. Kitambo nilikuwa... Naenda shai sa hii mungu alitupeleka vangu vingine kwa si mwansi niluwai kubeba Amu likuwa Tanzania kwa hivyo Ya mwansi Kwa si mwansi Tanzania wa arehu Sasa hapa baru Hapa baru ni sama niti kwa tazi wanakapa Sasa hapa ndiyo kuna maneno 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 sasa Sasa hapa tunakajaka kiti na hituwa Footbath Futi pati kazi yake ni gaya ni baba. Mane cha futi pati ni nini tuambie? Tuambie futi pati basi. Futi pati ni nini basi? Tell us what is a football? Talk. What is a football? 
Aujui. Aujui suruh badan ni. Eh? Wait, kuat tu kamera. Basi, basi, basi si orang ni. Basi ni ame, ame skriya kamera sasa, ame nyamaza. Kita boleh tu masuk ni. Futi badan ni basi. Football for the Nigerians are all. Players and the the disinfectants are pressed there to ensure that there is maximum security for the birds. So, I'm not sure if you're going to So, I'm not sure if you're going to I will ask you questions. Eh? So, so football, no, no, no. I'm not sure if you're going to be a cop. So, when you're going to be a cop, you're going to be a cop. 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 So, ako kwa ako kwa 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 all those equipments will be here. So now when you come here, you step inside here, and then now you, you go to the poultry house. So guys, we are taking you now inside there to the poultry house there. You are going to witness how we are rearing chicken inside there. And then guys, also, remember to rate us. To rate, to to ambia hii kazi naona hiko sawa. Ama, you can improve on one, two, three, four. You know, it's a learning day. Some farmers now will ask me, Dawani, tunatumia hapa. Hapa tunatumia short acting fumigants. We don't use long acting fumigants. So short acting, we can use ultrasight, biosafe, evil. As I put a cup on a changanya put a canyon down and get on your way up. Kuku. Pinga Dani. Kau dapat jumpa dia kamera. Ya mas mas, mas mas. Kau dapat jumpa dia jumpa 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 dia kamera. Tasha apa? Apa sahaja dia tu langsung datang ke pusat. Bisa rawa? Awak dah bis mana? Siapa awak ini? Approaching six weeks. Approaching six weeks. Kamu suka apa bang? Suka mana? Suka suka ya, suka ya tu. Kau ni siapa? Kau ni nak apa? Kau ni siapa? Show them, show them, show them, show them, show them, show them. Mira siapa? Hapa mula tu payah ni ni sasa. It's six weeks, six weeks old. It's a very, a very big hen. So now, so now skin akan dia kilo mana? Yeah, yeah. So this one is. So now, so now this bird of ours. Do you know why our birds are very unique? And our birds are growing very healthy. Because you you cannot see any sick bird here. Because of biosecurity measures. All such a kula, ayi shida ni on a day. So this a kula exclusively. Alafu pia tumeraise feeders juu. Nataka tuangalie venye zile zina feed. Hebu 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 kamera wewe wewe. Usiende karibu. So you can see the feeders are raised up hivyo. So shingo peke yake ndio inaingia kwa hizo vitu peke yake. Mnaweza angalia? Ni shingo peke yake inaingia. Sio mwili yote. Because ukiweka chini hizo nguzi zinaweza kanyaga hapo ndio zinakanyagana zinangangania chakula. Because of competition for food. So guys, raise your feeders that way. At least the feeders should be upper. Upper karibu na shingo. Unaangalia urefu ya mgongo ya kuku. Hapo ndi unayaka. Like now these ones are approaching six weeks. I'm sure kesho kuto zikona six weeks. So you can see how we are doing it. And then also, we have raised the waterers. Kuna zina 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 kunya maji kweni? Hakuna saizi zina kula. Kwa hindi saizi ndiyo zina kula sapa? Ha? Saizi ndiyo zina kula sapa? Kuna lisha marangatu kwa siku? Marambili, asubuhi na peana, na sanga because they are very busy. Kuna yenye na kuna majwa, they are very busy. Tuna ngani ya food? So banki, you can see the kind of work you kapa. So good. So 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 you kono fedi na bado, hapo juu bado, hapo jaya kabado baris hapo juu bado. Laki na we are believing. Zina zikoko wuko juu, zina fa kujua hapa chini, because hapo juu na fa to party space. We are putting up five thousand bars by twenty fourth. To go now, six thousand birds up in the in the in the in the upper floor here. So now to talk about the preparation up. So this one will come down here, and then one week for fumigation, and then from there now we can put up a new flock up there. Come, let's go and see. 
Inafunguliwa bwana ana. Bwana yeye. Bwana bikosi umetoka hapo sasa unataka hata hapa tena hivyo. Karibuni sana. Hapa ni kwa vista zo, hapa hapa ni kwa vista tutamalizia hapo. Sasa guys, this is a very big space. This is around 1,200 in this space. You can see the birds are very, very, the birds are very, very healthy. Pia zinakula hapa sana. Aziku ni maji kwa sababu sahi ni feeding time. Sahi zinakula sapa. So same, same criteria used to there. It's the same, same criteria used here. So you can see guys. Jamana ongeza maji. Charles, mbona unaweka maji, unaraise maji hapo juu? This is like, we are raising this water. Yeah. So I'm not in connecting that is fine, but it's sweet from the drinking water. And the drinking water? Yeah. Nisi kukuzi zinatumia joto? Usiku? Yeah. Zinatumia? Sai? Sai, unazima hii joto. Sai, unazima joto? Yeah. So now, Sai, how old are they? But in how old are they? Are they? They are four weeks, heading to five weeks, eh? So guys, you can see the kind of farming we are doing here. You can see the kind of expansion we are doing here. Eugene Poultry Farm Limited, this is our newest farm in Mabera, Migori County, serving Tanzania and then also Migori County. What can you tell, what, what can you tell farmers, Agnes, as the, as the regional admin? Okay, first I would like to tell farmers that are uh, they should venture into poultry. It's a very, a very, a very good activity that can enable somebody to get good money. When you eat far, you can And also, I would like to encourage our farmers that what is the Sharia za mafunzo. Let them be good in following uh, us through YouTube, so that because we find that you find some farmers complaining. But only the Lunua, Kuku, Kuku, Yendi Vizuri, it's because you don't have a point ready to follow the, the instruction the way in the piano and our CEO, Ama Vilechua, to the piano and our So, in the Penda, to the Napuatia YouTube channel, and uh, we will be able to, to have a healthy and good chicks like this ones. Wow, very good. So now, so now, guys, you can see. You end up with a lot of energy, sir. A lot of energy. You don't have to feed him in the first place. You don't have to feed him in the first place. You don't have to have a lot of energy, sir. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Sasa, hapa kuna maneno sasa. Hapa kuna maneno sasa. Hapa kuna maneno sasa. So hapa kuna maneno sasa. So hizi faranga ni 2 weeks old birds you can see them. They are here. Hizi nazo azinganganisha chakula kwa nini azinganganisha chakula? Kwa nini azinganganisha chakula? Nana nana naweza niambia hiyo ni kwa nini azinganganisha chakula? Because chakula inakuwa hapa ndani 24 hours. Na pia zina Hawa ni watoto wadogo. So zimeshiba. So unaona zina strain kula chakula na. So there are two weeks old birds in infrared bulb. In infrared bulb, one bulb sub up to. Na maji na isha pa ndani manager. Kwa nini hakuna maji hapa? Eh? Zimina ziko na maji aje. Mwongeza maji wate. Sia? Mestia? Make sure you do a good job. Eh? So in poultry jiko, maji na sabu faranga ngapi manager? Poultry jiko. Eh? Yeah. In the in the world, 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 in
so zina 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 struggle so ukipata kuna ile kama hii moja kama hii moja iko wiki ona hii iko wiki hii ilikuwa nini mgu lakini na survive tu so basi ni like, next time isolate kama hii ambayo ilivunjika mgu unaiweka kando umesikia mbona basi Thank you, Admin. Ashkuru sana. I'm sure we can hear from one farmer. Farmer, ikaz tuna fanya wano na yonaji wano mwano. Naza biyaja wakulima hapo inje, wanyo wakulimi mikuri county hapa. Kaz tuna fanya wano yonaji ni ya chelza wano ni kazi ya mwano. Kuzi tell them your name. I'm Mr. Cosmas. Yeah. I'm in the area. Basatu na kena tokiko. I just passed you by. You need to ask what is going on. Thank you, sir, Mr. Cosmas. I'm sure you are my long-time friend. Long-time. Talk to your dog. 
So Baba Sai, but I'm sure we are doing a very good expansion here, guys. So for those people who are willing to learn, come, we are developing a very serious, reputable poultry training center, PTC. I'm sure this one should be amongst the, the county demonstration farms because we are partnering with the county government of Midori. Yes. I'm sure in, in, in our other clip there, you can see the Directorate of Veterinary Services, Mr. Eric was here. And then you can see the Department of Livestock Production Officer, the in charge, Mr. Mr. Nyango was here. And I'm soon, and I'm soon welcoming now the Chief Officer, Mr. Gambele, to come here. And then finally the Minister, CEC Agriculture, Mr. Ogongo. I'm sure you'll see my letter there. Well, we will be launching officially this farm, you are highly welcome. And for those organizations who have visited here, you are highly welcome. Send a cow, a shame you are here today, you are highly welcome. Ultra Fetis East Africa Limited, you are dealing with various drugs and vaccines. We are, we, we are always partnering with you. Thank you, you visited here, Mr. Eric Ozer was here. And then also the Directorate of Livestock, thank you, you are here. Veterinary Services, you are here. I'm sure now other partners like FAO and others. You are highly welcome. Karibuni sana. Hapa ni Eugene Poultry Farm Limited, our new Migori farm. We are still under development. After five months, we should be at around 15,000 bucks or 20,000 bucks. After one year, I'm sure we should be have hit 50,000 bucks in this farm. Highly welcome. Dr. Eugene, CEO Eugene Poultry Farm Limited. That's our sana. Subscribe to our channel. Thank you. Wow.